I'm here with Jason from Skinny Guy Campers. He's got an unbelievable Tundra. I'm gonna do a little walk around, see what he's done to it. Let's get into it. All right, so we're with Jason, Skinny Guy Campers here. He's got an unbelievable Tundra behind me. And I just wanna kind of introduce him to you and let him kind of show us what he's done to it, what Skinny Guy Campers is about, and go from there and see how it goes. Hey guys, everybody calls me JB. I'm the CEO and founder of uh, Skinny Eye Campers. And uh, this is my 2018 uh, Toyota Tundra. Uh, it was actually built by TAV, which is, stands for Tactical Application Vehicles. They're based in Albuquerque, New Mexico. They're actually a dealer of ours, which is great. We love working with them. But yeah, this is my 2018 uh, Tundra. I had them built for me. So what we've got going behind us, um, it's a, I mean, I'll get into more de the detail of the truck, but the, uh, the, the Bowen bed or the custom bed is made by Bowen Customs are here in Colorado. Um, I, I'm not sure exactly the city. I think I want to say Denver, but somewhere here in Colorado. Um, great bed. Uh, it's been a just tremendous for any activity, snowboarding, uh, biking, you can put bikes in underneath. And then on top of it, we've got our model 6.5 kit caboodle trimmed uh, camper with the Primo Lou. So we offer different trim levels in the Skinny Guy camper. And uh, this one has the full flushing toilet everything so basically our campers are very low height camper they fold open like a clamshell um, they're no higher than the cab of the truck when they're when they're in the, the uh, travel mode but <clears throat> when you're in camp mode you you can stand up inside there's a full toilet uh, there's a shower inside kitchen uh, everything except for air conditioning we have so what's the camper made out of say steel or aluminum or yeah it's made out of aluminum it's all eighth inch aluminum so inside and out so it's very well built everything's laser cut all the holes are pre-laser cut for us um, and all we end up doing is assembling gluing and assembling so what's it, it all weigh uh, this one right here uh, just the camper weighs empty around 1080 pounds when okay. i say empty i mean nothing in the black tank nothing in the fresh tank uh, and no propane Nice. Yeah. We're going to walk over to the front, check out what's going on up there and underneath in the suspension and, uh, and really see what <laughs> this build is all about. So yeah. let's take a look. Let's do it. All right. So I see a supercharger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, yeah. What else got, we got going on in here? Yeah. I mean, it's just a, it's a beast. Um, I mean, S-Pod, electrical circuits, uh, Magnuson supercharger. Um, really, the way this all came about, <clears throat> I owned a 97 uh, Land Rover Defender right. 110. And Walt and I got to talk and he said, man, I really like your Defender. And I said, man, I really like your Tundra. <laughs> so we actually did a swap. Really? Yeah. Um, so, so you we, have his Defender or he has your Defender? He does. Yeah. That's so cool. he, nice. um, he's, I think he's got a, he's got a customer lined up to, to build, do a build on it. But anyway, so we actually took this truck last year to SEMA at, in our booth. So I think I've seen campers. this truck before then. <laughs> yeah. So we had it there. Um, cool. Yeah. But but tab uses it to go to all their shows and but yeah. it's a great rig for them to showcase both what they do this is their the, this is their stage three so um <clears throat> they put on a fiberglass uh wheel well to extend it out right. gives you a little bit extra width front and rear and then uh this is their i think it's the two two and a half inch coilover uh by kink suspension so just a well-built product um c4 bumper up front yep. um baja design uh lights i mean the thing it when you take it down the trail, it lights up everything, so yeah. it's great. So. so talk to me about the suspension a little bit. Obviously, we're in the front, but you have a lot of weight in the rear. Yep. So what do you got back there to kind of deal with that? Yep, on the back, we, we've installed, uh, we like to use Timbrin bump stops. Nice. I, I do. I love them. Um, yeah. So I, I had them uh, put those on just to, with that extra added weight uh, right. to hold the camper. SES or off-road bump stops? SES nice. bump stops, that yeah. That really so. helps hold the weight. It's never going to sag at that point. Yeah. Yep. Cool. We actually have a, a, a secondary business back in Indiana called High Ground Outfitters. Okay. And we use those as well. We sell uh, skinny guy campers out of that, but we also uh, do truck builds much like what Tab does back in Indiana. Right. Um, so, but yeah, nice. the, we, we like to work with Timberin quite a bit. Talk to us about your wheels, uh, maybe yeah. your brakes. I see some brakes back there. Yeah. Uh, so, what size tires you're running? Yep. So, power brake rotor and calipers um, okay. South African company uh, they're they're awesome brakes yeah. so they have this system on their <clears throat> on their rotors that if you if you uh, end up wearing out the rotors they'll they can look at the the uh, these different paint temperature sensitive paints ah. to see how hot they actually got and then recommend upgraded more oh, upgraded cool. rotors if you need them so that's really cool um, yeah so that. that's that's the rotors tab actually knows the guys at method very well and yeah. they're together here at um 
in their booth here at Overland. Yeah, that's always a safe choice for wheels. Yeah, it's beautiful wheel. Um, I mean, you clear 37s easy. I mean, yeah, there's yep. no, yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. a ton of room yeah, in there. They got a ton of room. This is actually Tab's proprietary uh, like wheel well cover. Well, yeah. yeah, they they coat this whole inner liner with their own system. They get everything uh, pushed back Man. just to give enough clearance and everything. Um, <laughs> but yeah, great wheels. I, I prefer method wheels as well. They're probably yeah. my favorite. They're not too aggressive. They take a beating, they're, they're, they look good. They're subtle. Yeah. Um, they've got a nice grip system on the inside of the, the tire to hold the hold the tire on. Right. They have a great simulated uh, uh, bead lock as well. All right, so I see yeah, so flatbed conversion of sorts. Yeah, um, some people call them trays. Some people Tray. call them uh, flatbed. Right. Um, everywhere else in the world, they call them trays, like South Africa, Australia. Um, a lot of the countries that, okay. where they do a lot more, a lot of off-roading. Um, really, I think Australia is where they originated. So, but this one's made by Bowen Customs. They're based here in Colorado. And uh, again, the truck was already built when I when I purchased it from Tab. But uh, they have a really good relationship with uh, Bowen as well. But all kinds of storage options. They can do a, a swing out tailgate like this, or they can do one that folds down. Sheesh. I actually prefer the fold down version. Um, because it, it simulates more of a normal like a tailgate. tailgate. Yeah. Um, but this is all aluminum. The whole all, thing's aluminum. All aluminum. Yeah. Wow. So, so very lightweight. This this truck stock actually has lower miles per gallon than what it does now, with the camper on top and with this this I mean, that is tray nuts. on, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Plus you get more power. That is crazy. So, um, not that you're buying this to get really good fuel economy, yeah. but side <laughs> exactly. benefit. So, but all kinds of storage. I mean, there's the, the rear storage compartments. Um, these are really good for skis, poles. Um, yeah. It's all cable, held up by cables. There's more uh, more storage compartments <laughs> there's down below. storage for days on this. I mean, I use all this for- uh, It's incredible. Like, like uh, firewood. I mean, there's firewood in here. So that's actually my firewood. <laughs> and it does a good so, job of yeah. keeping dust, water out and everything yeah. pretty much. Yeah, everything's I sealed. I see there's a lot of seals in here. Yeah, Everything's sealed. I actually nice. added, and I think I think Brent, Brent, he already Brent Bowen, he yeah. already added uh, drain holes. I put right. some drain holes in here because I was getting a little water in, but I added those just on my own to uh, let the water drain away. So that's incredible. Reverse lights, uh, Baja Designs. So they integrated those for me. Um, DMOS, uh, we added this shovel as well. Uh, Tab's got a good relationship. We've got we have a good relationship with Skinny Guy with DMOS. So these are a real nice aluminum, uh, aluminum or steel. Um, you can get these anodized. You can get a powder coated shovels. So. So talk to me about the tent. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of support rods here. You've got some yeah. struts. It looks like it's kind of an assist to help yeah. you kind of get, deploy it. Uh, yeah. Does everything just lock into place, or like how long does it take to assemble this thing? About five minutes. Five minutes. Yep. Yep. When you get to camp, um, you park. You try to find a level spot. Um, I use either rocks or I'll find wood nearby. Or, or a pile of sand, and I'll I'll put them under the, the wheels that I need to in order to get it level. Right. Um, but yeah, it takes about five minutes. There's a push rod, which is what this is, and then these are the support poles. These support poles. Um, let me back up one second. So our camper is made of aluminum sheet mostly. Right. Um, mostly rivets, some welds, and then everything's powder coated except for our stainless steel part. So these support bars are stainless steel tubing, um, 16 inch wall. And then all of our fittings are marine grade fittings, so they're all also all stainless steel. Um, so all these are stainless. I mean, we really wanted to design some, and build something out of corrosion resistant material because we never know where it's going to be taken. And you're out of Indiana, so out of Indiana. <laughs> everything gets rusty. Everything gets rusty there. Yeah. Coastlines. Yep. We actually export these to Australia as well. Yeah. Uh, the campers. So the bed the bed capacity we've tested to 1200 and it's rated to 600. So we always test to double what we want to rate it to. Right. So it's 600 there. Um, again, this is the kit and caboodle trim level. It's the top of the line. We do have entry level products that start at around 10,000. So we actually make a product similar to, let's say a go fast camper right. or an alu cab. That's more of a shell. Right. It has a, a door that opens up and then you get the full bed all the way to the top of your, your cap uh, for storage. That's called our base cap. Nice. So kind of like base camp, but What's base cap. What's the price difference in those two? So that one is like ten thousand, yeah. um, and this one is about thirty-one retail. So, cool. but yeah, if you want us to build it out, we can build it out for you. That's called the kit and caboodle. If you want to build it out yourself, base cap. So, 
So I see some plugs here, looks like a water connection, yep. uh, maybe some power. I mean, what's going on on the side of this? For sure. Um, so again, we've got a heating system inside for the air. We okay. also have water heat. So this, in this compartment inside here, you can't see it, but inside this wall is where we install our Truma combi uh, heater and water heater. It's actually one unit that does both things. So think of it like an instant water heater like you'd have at your house. <clears throat> so that's installed inside there, provides those both of those. There's really no other camper here of this height and size that, that are like yeah, that. Yeah, it's extremely has that. low profile. Yep, that has that. So um, right here, this is our no-co plug. So at the kit kit poodle trim level, you can um, you get a full electrical system inside, inverter, uh, power converter. Um, we also have the Red Arc Manager 30 installed in this as well. So with the solar, it brings in the charge. So you can plug this in at home, charge up your battery at home, and it'll it'll just it'll get it all up to 100%. So this is our water fill. So there's so, a battery in there too. There's a battery inside. Oh wow! Yep. So it's, yeah. it's completely yep. self-sustaining. It I is got you. very cool. much. Yep, yep. All right. At the kit and get a little trim level. Yeah. So yeah. I follow. Um, so this is our water tank fill. So we, this has 30 gallons of water okay. in the basement of this camper. So. You, what you see here is actually the floor height inside. So right. from here up is your standing height. If you look into the bed, the, the truck bed, you have about uh, eight inches or so that sticks down. That's where our water tanks are. That's where our black tank is. Black tank is what all the, the our, our exhaust goes into. Right. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what's inside and underneath. Um, this is our black tank vent. So in a black tank situation, you have to have a way to vent out. Uh, air or, or, or smell yeah. from a black tank. So that's what that, that's what that serves. Sick. <laughs> this is also our, uh, this is our gray tank drain. <clears throat> so we don't have a gray tank like on a board. garden hose to it yeah. and take it out it, somewhere. Depending on where you are and the local regulations, you can hook a hose up and either right onto the ground because all gray, gray water is, is just dirty water. It's not, it's right. not toilet water or anything like that. So right. you can just drain it on the ground or collect it depending on where you are. Cool. Yeah. Let's go take a look inside this thing. And Sounds then, good. Uh, we got going on sounds great so we're sitting inside the skinny guy camper and again the skinny guy camper is a cab high product that folds open like a clamshell and all the tent and all the bows and everything that support the tent are all self-deploying as you actuate the roof to from from travel mode to camp mode <clears throat> so inside you've got a cooktop single burner cooktop sink and this all attaches to that gray tank drain you have a refrigerator so i've got my stash of of beverages and food inside here to keep it cool on my trip, this continues to run uh, no matter where you are. So as long as you have a battery inside, you can continue to run your refrigerator. It's all driven off of the, the 12 volt port up here. So down here we have a 12 volt charger as well. So you can charge your devices and um, also gives you a battery readout. Uh, so you know what, what kind of voltage you have left in your battery. And uh, over here we have a pantry. And these, these two compartments here are for um, storing gear. Um, I store food in here typically. So this one, this model is actually not my camper um, that I'm using at the moment. So the configuration of storage is a little different than what I typically use. So when the camper's all closed, um, this would come down onto the footwell and then the refrigerator would store right here. And these are all quick connect fittings uh, for gas, for water, hot and cold. Uh, the electrical for the Truma Combi heater. Um, and that's actually a, I don't know what the right term is, like a dead man switch. So you have to unplug it in order to move move this kitchen down. So therefore it just cuts off, it, cut off switch would be the best way to say it. Um, you just have to make it, have, have to cut it off in order to, we, we do that so that you don't burn your, burn up your camper with the heater. Um, also the gray tank drain is right here as well. So that's a quick disconnect. Um, other features, you have, a, you have a table inside that you can use for blogging or um, video editing or um, Tab, uh, Matt from Tab actually does a lot of their uh, social media. So he, does, he uses this as his own little studio, uh, which is really nice. Um, below your legs there are, is the toilet. So inside this compartment um, on the 6.5, um, model 6.5, is, which is what this is, this is our, our toilet. So this would be the Primolu, it's all built in. Um, dumps right into the black tank in the basement and uh, with the black tank you also get a macerator. Think of the macerator as a uh, as a garbage disposal like you have on your sink and most RVs you have to have like a three inch 
dump hose to exhaust your black tank. On ours, you can use a garden hose and then you pump it out using that mace radar. So it's a really nice, very easy to dump uh, toilet. Under this compartment, you also have a bunch of storage for gear. So um, again, this is a Skinny Guy Camper. It's a model 6.5. We build these all day long. Um, and it also has the Primo Lube toilet. So that's what, that's what we do. It just happens, our, my, this is, just happens to be my truck built by Tab. And uh, appreciate you guys taking a look at it today.